Okay. Here we are live. Hello everyone. Hi. How are you all doing today? Thank you very much for joining us. We're just going to quickly share out the video. Thank you very much for being here today. We're in number two of our crafting session with Tony and Hunter. <laughs> number two. So last week, so crafting session one, we talked about shaving cream <laughs> and how to colour the paper. We then made an 8x8 eight eight layout, scrapbooking layout. We also made the A4 layout as well. And Hunter put together this 12x12 12 12 scrapbooking layout. This is his finished design. It's very cool. Very impressed. And that was with a photo that we took that morning, just before we started. So today, Hunter is going to do his own special layout, but I'll show you that one a bit later. What we're going to do first is tell you what we're going to do today in this video. We're going to be focusing on bubble wrap. So I've just cut up some extra squares and just scraps basically of bubble wrap. So remember this crafting stuff is just for kids to do around the house. It's just stuff you've already got at home that you can just throw together, the kids can throw together and start making a crafty project out of. So we're gonna need the bubble wrap and we're going to need some paints. Now some of these paints are, you know, expensive, are expensive uh, crafting. I've tried to not include them in here. I've tried to keep them in my own little stash. This is stash is ones that Hunter is welcome to use at any time he wants to. And he does use them. He quite enjoys using them. So most of these just come from the, the $2 shops. So your Silly Sollies, your Dollars and Cents, Reject Shop, places like that. Uh, the $2 shop that's in the... In the um, shops up in Rockhampton. So these are all fairly cheap. And you know what? They last forever, which is an awesome, awesome thing. But what we're going to do first off... Hang on, Hunter. What we need to do first off is just pick out a couple of quick colours. So pink? that way... Absolutely. Any? Absolutely. That way I can just get rid of this paint container. Much and move it off our bench. Oh, this one's brand new. Um, maybe like a pink. pink. Uh, can I have a yellow as well? If we've got a yellow. What that? Have we got a purple that's already open? That's good enough. Yeah, that colour's awesome. <coughs> oh. Just trying to find a colour that's open already. Do I do it? It's okay. Here. Now these paint tins, again, they're just from the $2 shops. Can we put that there? Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Put them in a little thing. That's all good. Do I put it in a black or something? Mm, black might be interesting, yeah. Can you find a black in there? There is. I know for a fact. Black. That, one? that one's Super. umber, so that's a brown. That's a brown. That's a black. We, oh, it feels very empty. Have we got any left in it? Let's hope so. Let's hope so. See if you can fit him in there, hey? <laughs> You're right. Even. Yeah, sure can. Oh. Okay, perfect. That's okay. That's all right. Now, the reason that we do oh, just put oh. them in... No, we've got enough. The reason that we do put them in these little trays is... Okay. Sure, absolutely. Okay is the is fact nice. that we can just clear off our desk now and it takes up less room and we'll even use less paint so really this is all the paint that we'll end up using so we don't have to keep squeezing the paint and this yeah we don't have to keep squeeze squeezing the paint onto our um bubble wrap it can just be done Look at that. that's an awesome color hunter that great looks choice sparkly. It's metallic. I think is it bronze or copper? Um, copper. Yeah. This is a... That's a great colour. 
Okay, so I'm just going to move that off the craft desk. Can we put it back? No, just there's fine. Just behind okay. us. Thank you. And we're going to use, so today to spread it onto the bubble wrap, onto the bubble wrap, I'm just going to use some of the foam brushes. You can grab these for a pack of like four or five from the, again, from the $2 shop. You can also grab them from Spotlight, that sort of stuff. Yes, we are. Um, no, they don't Spotlight in America. They have different craft shows, uh, craft stores. Okay, so Hunter's going to do his own project today. I don't know if he's going to use the bubble wrap or not. He might not. He's going to make a layout with a photo of myself, himself, and his older brother. So we took this in my older son's bedroom just moments ago and quickly printed it off. About 10 minutes ago. About 10 minutes ago. And he's going to be making a drawing instead of decorating it with some mixed media. He's going to use the pens like he did last time. And these ones, again, you just, I think we picked them up from maybe Dolls and Cents or the Reject Shop. I can't remember which one. It may have even been Kmart. And also so he's some, going to use these. And also some watercolours. And some watercolour paints. So these are actual scrapbooking, mixed media coloured type of ones. And they are from Uniquely Creative. So these ones actually did cost me a little bit of money. And not really as kid friendly as some other options. But Hunter knows that most of his, most of my stuff he's allowed to use. For people at home here in Yapoon that may not have access to that uniquely creative watercolour brushes, I have picked these up not long ago here in Yapoon. These are a Montmartre watercolour. These I'm pretty sure are from Dollars and Cents actually down the main street. You would just use these with either a watercolour brush or just a normal brush that you would then dip some water into. So your normal brush or a watercolour brush. Have we got a watercolour brush handy, Hunter? They might be They might be in there. I'm not sure where they are. Uh, the next one is the watercolour paints. These again are Montmartre. I'm got pretty it. sure you're going to open that up. I'm pretty sure we actually got these from the news agent. Yep. So there's a little tray there. Again, you just squirt these out very minuscule. Don't use the whole tube. Just squirt it out the tiniest little bit. Have your bottle of water ready. And again, you'd use them with your little brushes or your paint water brushes. The third option is watercolour pencils. Um, I think you pull it out like that. Yep. The Fabia Castell pencils. Why is there a paintbrush? Because uh, that's the paintbrush that you're supposed to use with it. So it comes with its own paintbrush. As you can see, these ones have been used from time to time. I'm not a big drawer yeah. or artist colourer, so I'm probably not that good to go into these and explain how they work with you. However, I have used them a little bit. And again, it's just using your little tab of water. Hi, Sally. Hi, Vicky. Look, Vicky's there. Hi, Vicky. <laughs> and hi, Sally. Okay, so these are options that people can get just around town, around here in Yapoon, that kids can easily use to create with. And I'm also going to be using this double sided tape from, I don't know, Mum, where are they? Double-sided tape. That one there came from the scrapbooking shop, actually. And but can, you can get it from Spotlight. And instead of using glue, I'm going to use double-sided tape on this photo to put it somewhere on my layout I'm doing. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so let's get started. Hi, Emma. Oh, hi, Annie Di. Hi, Annie Di. Hi. This is session two of our craft kids crafting stuff. So Hunter, I'm going to put that project there in front of you. Would you like to do it on camera after I've done the bubble wrap or would you like to do it off camera and then show people at the end? On. On camera? Okay. So let's do the bubble wrap stuff first, hey? Careful, I'm doing this on camera. Yeah, hang on, you can't, you can do that. We've got to do this first because this is what our kids craft session is. <laughs> You can help me do the bubble wrap. Would you like to help me do this one? So 
So we've got to put some paint onto the bubble wrap. Can I do it? Yep, you have the iron. So we just need to spread it out. Which side is it? We need the bumpy side. There's not really a lot of bumpy sides anymore, is there? Okay, you've given up. You want me to do it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And basically all we're doing is really just, we're just planting that down there. That's how simple it really is. Now, kids of all ages, I'm not kidding. You can get a two-year-old to do this sort of stuff. What? Yeah, how cool is that? I mean, it might be a little bit messy, but you can always clean it up. Yeah, it's only paint. You can always clean it up. So I'm just going to set some of this bubble wrap aside so it doesn't all go on top of each other. And when I set them aside, I just lay the brush on top of each one so I know which brush to use again later. Now the foam brushes are pretty lenient with time. You will have a little bit of time that you can get creative and do stuff before you have to clean them. Are However, sure it's definitely stuff? recommended that you absolutely do clean them before they go dry and hard, because otherwise- They'll be stuck with this. That, yeah. Otherwise, your brush is ruined and you won't really be able to use it again. This one here, I waited far too long to clean. It went dry and I now can't use it for anything soft. I can now only use it if I want to apply hard stuff. So that's one piece. I'm going to keep going with my second piece to keep getting some cool colours onto there. We need to set that aside to dry. So what have we got? Blue, pink, purple. So now we also need some green. Hi Candy, how are you doing? We're doing some bubble wrap kids sessions, stuff we can find around the house today, just to keep the kids busy during school holidays. I can't believe that we didn't think about doing this stuff months and months and months ago while we were in COVID restrictions. Oh, we, we should have thought about it, hey? It's a bit silly of us. At least we're doing it now. At least it? we're doing it now. So why don't you stick it onto... So that was a really good question, actually. Hang on. So Hunter just said, can I take the double-sided tape off for him? So what he had is he actually gave me the double-sided tape like this and asked me to peel it off. The best thing with double-sided tape is to stick it to whatever you're gonna stick it to first. And take it off. And then try and peel it off. There we you go. You got it? There we go, good stuff. Dun, dun, dun. Now, are you sure you're just gonna do drawings and paintings and stuff? Yes. You're, not, you're not going to do any bubble wrapping on your layer? I don't really know. Cause look how cool this bubble wrap stuff is. Mm. No? That's all right. Okay, one more colour. I might use that amazing copper that you pulled out for us. What copper? Okay. That copper colour, because it is beautiful. You used two coppers, didn't you? No, just one copper colour. What's well, like this? Isn't that gorgeous? So, yep, there you go. So you put it. So put it up a little bit. Like that. Yep. Then you start to peel it off. Magic. And then it's ready. Well done. Good job. Okay, so again, we, we need them to dry for us. Oh, so Daisy, is you right? Sorry. I might have missed. <laughs> That's okay. He was just reaching for the bin. Okay, so we're going to let them dry. So today I'm going to be doing two projects. I'm going to be doing some cards as well as the A4 layout. No, what I'll be doing is making my own layout. And Hunter is going to be making his own layout, exactly, with the photo. With that photo and uh, whatever that page is. What's... A scrapbooking page, yep. No, what is that? 
uh, yeah, it's a 12 by 12 inch scrapbooking layout. 12 by 12 inch thingy. Yes. So to make cards, I know a lot of kids to make big ones. So that that's actually quite big. So traditionally a normal card's just like the half, which is what I'm actually going to do. I'm going to cut that in half. Yep, very good. I'm going to cut that in half. So roughly half is, let's have a look. That's going to be the line there that I'm going to cut down. Oh, a drop. Be careful. Oh, that's okay. So usually I would use my scrapbooking cutter, but because we're using things that we have around the house today to encourage the kids to be creative, use their imagination, I am simply going to use what everyone else will have around the house. Scissors. And that is just some scissors. And paper. I think yep, I'm scissors paper. and paper straight from your straight from your printer. Somewhere. Yes. Yeah, somewhere. I'm sure everyone has at least something. I'm sure they do. Okay, so. Yep. Pull your hang on, hang on. Pick it up. You stick you stuck it down before you went on camera. Okay, so Hunter's just stuck down the photo for his 12 by 12. Because you have seats. Hang on, we're not finished yet. Okay, now for these designs, I'm going to make a couple of cards. So I actually pulled these out. No, not yet. Thank you. I actually pulled this out. I'm a big Harry Potter fan. So I pulled out she a little... She is a massive Harry Potter fan that her bathroom is full of <laughs> Hufflepuff because she's a Hufflepuff. I am a Hufflepuff. And, and a Hufflepuff is a house in Harry Potter. Yes, a house in Harry Potter. Just like here in school, we have houses, sports houses and stuff yeah. like that too, hey? So I'm a Hufflepuff. Hunter is a Gryffindor. I'm happy, like Harry Potter. Yeah. Because I'm Gryffindor, like Harry Potter. Awesome. So these stickers I've actually had, I've bought these, I think, from eBay and got them delivered. However, these stickers you can grab from Reject Shop and places like that. So there's like some racing cars, monster trucks, there's mermaids. I've also seen emojis. Um, in, I have my own scrapbook drawer and I think I have like planes and that. Yeah, actually, if you go behind you, look, there's, okay. have a look, open, open up your drawer. So this is some of Hunter's drawer here. So he has there's emojis, bears, Mickey Mouse, Disney, um, how awesome. A lot of stuff. Oh, a, a bunch of smiley faces there. Bunch of emojis. Um, emojis I got from American Ladies. I think it was. Oh, look, and the scented. There's even yeah. scented ones as well. So these stickers, you can grab anywhere. Oh, also, and there's a good smelly stickers. <laughs> more smelly stickers. And there's a really good chance that you guys have actually already got these in your house somewhere already. So you don't have to go out and buy it. It's just kids' craft, stuff that you've got hanging around the house. Oh, Donna's there. Hi, Donna. Hi, Donna. Say, so is Sienna and Ashton around? Because Hunter's doing some crafting as well. Yes, they might want to watch. They might want to watch and learn. <laughs> watch and learn some Smile cool and wave. things. Okay, so I'm going to make this one my Harry Potter one. I'm going to put... Yep, I'm going to put maybe... I might put the mermaid one with this one. So I'm going to put the monster trucks away. Hunter has something else to tell you. All right, so on my layout... Oh, I'm, Ashie's there. Okay. Hi, Ashton. Hi, Ashton. Anyway, I'm thinking I'll put a few drawings on here, maybe a few pictures, words, and stuff. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so you get started on that. And I will be using those and those for the people that just joined. So these are watercolour brushes. They're by Uniquely Creative and they're from the scrapbooking store. But for people who don't have a scrapbooking store nearby, we can go and get other options with watercolour paints and pencils and brushes from the newsagents and reject shop and places like that, hey, from and around then, here in Yapoon. And then you could get these from, I'm not sure. And the pens he's using, he could, you can just pick up anywhere. I think they might be Kmart or... Somewhere. 
reject shop, dollars and cents, something like that, just here around Japoon. Like I said before, somewhere. Somewhere. So he's going to get started on that while I finish this. And then when I'm finished, we can go back to his layout and have a look. I'm not going to take too long doing these. And you know what? Most of our paints are actually dry already. That's so cool. Well, how about you leave that one out so that way it's easier access. So for when you need to use it, okay? So that's how easy that is. Super, super happy about that. So I'm just going to... Okay, so basically we want to... Again, I would usually use my cutter for these. But I'm just going to quickly draw around it. Because we're going to be sticking these onto the front. And this one, I would like to be the yellow one. Because, again, I am Hufflepuff and Hufflepuff is yellow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and Gryffindor is red. And Slytherin is green. And um, what's it called? Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw is blue. Yep. Blue. Oh, correct. And all of them to get to roll off. So I'm not even going to measure this one. I am simply just guessing. Guess. I'm just going guess, with it. Guess maybe a best. I'm just guessing. Because you know what? You can always cut down. So that looks cool. And some so, of you guys might not have rulers in your house. Well, I think everyone would have a ruler around. Hunter, that's a bit annoying. And I'm actually going to cut down, once I stick this on, I'm going to cut down the card so then it actually fits. So let's just straighten that up. Again, you guys at home, get the kids to use their rulers to straighten up the card. I'm just going to do it for the, for the video. I'm going to try and do it nice and quickly. Nice and neat and quick. There we go. And you know something really cool is you can ink. You may see this with cards and scrapbooking. Just go around and color the edges so it all blends in together. And that way it looks like you've actually got another piece of paper behind it for a mat. I'm going to stick that down there and then I'm actually going to cut out the excess of the card. So I'm just going to use glue. You saw Hunter is using double sided tape just there before. I'm just going to use glue, stuff that you can find anywhere laying around the house. You double can, sided tape? Yep. You can even grab uh, your bubble, what's it called? <laughs> glue stick. You can even use a glue stick. To stick stuff down not everyone has the crafting supplies readily on hand that especially we especially this this cutter yeah most people don't have a cutter in their house mm. okay Oh, that's adorable. I love that. So, what do you all think of that? Love Thumbs it. up. Yes, yes. I prefer Gryffindor. <laughs> okay, Hunter. I reckon that looks pretty good. So, let's see if we can grab these stickers. So cute. We're just going to stick him down like that. Hunter, can you grab my uh, tape pick thing for me, please? Okay. Now, I've actually got a pokey tool because my nails are quite long and I do get them done by the nail lady. She puts some like acrylic stuff over the top, so my nails are quite thick and quite hard to 
pick up the double sided tape. Ow! Sorry, Hunter. Oh, well. No, it wasn't you, it's a rule. So thing. here it is here. Oh, okay. So I. Not I, everyone has that. Yeah, not everyone has this. I actually find it quite hard to pick up the double sided tape or stickers from their backing quite often because of my nails. Why do you always get the nails? I like them long. That's what? That's Hunter's messages or notifications. There we go. Finally got it open. That is so cute. I can't get over how how adorable that is. Radio. So that is card number one done. I'm going to quickly put card number two together. Now again, I like I said in the first video in session one, I do like a clean craft desk. So I'm going to put those scraps in the bin because they are no longer scraps yeah. that we'll actually be able to use. Those ones are done with. Anything that you can still use, put off to the side. Rubbish. Because you can. No, they're not rubbish. You'll be able to use those again. No, those. Oh, the stuff in the bin's rubbish. Right now, this is the one that we drew around before. We're going to mat that. We're going to draw around it. However, I want to cut inside that line so that it sits on the front of the card. Did you just hurt yourself? There's a massive spiky thing oh, in the tree. Oh, that's no good. Where's the chair? No, but you can have my chair as soon as I am done with the projects oh, that I'm see? doing. Oh, oh I see. And then yeah. the Why don't you put the cushion on the chair? Ow. There you go. Here you go. What? We're just having a chair crisis here, folks. I do apologise. But there's always a problem. And oh. there's always a solution. Can I still feel the spot? It's okay. Okay, so we're going to do that same thing. We're going to paint around the edge. <gasps> Hi, Marie. Hi, is Marie. Jack and Sam there. If Jack and Sam is there, please tell them to come watch us. Tell them to come watch. Tell them to get crafty. We can do things around anything that you've got around the house. So, Marie, today... I'm doing a layout. Oh. <laughs> you just got um, paint on it, you duffer. No, I didn't. <laughs> oh, almost. Oh, there. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I just doing a layout. I just wrote that before, and with that, I'll be using all this stuff and some of these and more other things. Yeah, and yeah. what Mum's doing, I'll let her tell you that. That's okay. We're gonna keep going. Okay, so that one there actually matches pretty well in there. I'm going to paint the back of that as well, though, I think. So what colours have we got in here with our mermaid stickers? Uh, crafting print. I might put... I might put a little bit of... Hmm. Colour. Maybe the yellow. I might put some yellow into the background. Are you not going to put stickers? I oh, know we already did. Yes, we are going to use stickers, yes. But we always already use the yellow with our with our Harry Potter one, didn't we? So maybe, maybe purple. We'll put purple with it. I will make that a purple background. So just like we did edging the ink or edging the paint, I'm going to do the same thing. Here on the background of this again does not need to be neat does not need to be tidy it's all about to be hidden it's all about to be hidden I'm going to I'm not waiting for this to dry I'm just going to stick it straight down stick why don't you use double sided tape I should use double sided tape but yeah. I'm trying to no 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 I'm going to use the same stuff that most people will have around their house for their kids to use for their crafting not everyone has double sided tape around the house yeah all right sure and it's okay to be messy this paint washes off much easier than the shaving cream fine. did last week and I'm fine <laughs> Yes, you're fine. So I'm going to quickly put a sticker here. Yeah, which, which sticker? I put it what do you think? Yeah, let's have a look. I have small nails put... compared to hers. 
We might get this pretty one. Wait. Look at her nails compared to mine. Yes, that's okay. I'll do it. Wait, so this one? Yes, please. Oh, good. You put down. Beautiful. So I'm going to put that just off to the side here. Because I would like to put down some of these ones as well. So Which maybe one? smile and happy, please. Because I ain't trying to get the sticky one. If you need the... Yep. Yeah. Thank you. So I'm going to put... That smile. That one there. Oopsies. That's okay. Smile. Happy. Happy. And one more. Which one? Can we have maybe... Messy? Well, let's have a look at what else. What else is there? What is that? I do, yeah. Can I pick a sticker? Yep, I can. That one. That one? <laughs> sure. So basically, what we're trying to do is just give you guys techniques and ideas right there in the middle, please, um, that the kids can then go off and do on their own. Make them bigger, make them better, make them so much more over the top and special than just what I'm showing. You can do so many more things to these projects than and what you can I'm do showing. So much better than my mum. So much better than what I'm doing, yes, because I'm just doing it very quickly, aren't I? So. To finish off the card, I'm just going to grab some of that really cool paint that Hunter had before. Wait, what? That copper paint. Oh, yeah. And I'm just going to add a few cool little things if around. You, if you weren't here before, that's the copper paint she's talking about. It's like sparkly in that. It's so cool. Cooler than you think. There we go. And just adds a bit of extra texture and colour and stuff like that to it. Hi Val. Hi. There we go. Now for the layout. Can I take over while you're doing the layout? Would you like to have a quick little yep. turn before I do the layout? Okay. What are you going to do? Um, sit where you're sitting probably. Well I need to do the layout before I get up. Oh, How about I quickly do the layout? I do the layout, then I can get out of your way. How about that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So this one, we're going to make... That's okay. We're going to make our base. Just leave it. Yeah. We're going to put colour all over the place. It's so dark. Yep, but look, you can see it here on the screen, so it's okay. It's dark. But... We're going to add some greens. Add in that cool copper colour that Hunter had. Again, I picked it and you were going to say no. It's such an awesome colour. She was going to say no at the start of the colour, about the start of the video. She was going to say no to that colour. No, it wasn't. Yes, yeah, she did. That's legit how dark it is. That's okay. Thank you. That's all right. Sit down. Hunter's just climbing on chairs. See, he wants to know why we have chair malfunctions. And he's climbing all over the place. Well, before my foot, a tree got spiked by this massive spike on the chair, but there's no other ones. Okay. One. Still going. Still putting some more Ugh. colors down. And what have we got? One left. We've got blue left. So I'm still continuing to do my layouts. Okay, so we're going to move that stuff out of the way now. And I'm going to set this aside to dry now. And Hunter's going to come over and do some of his. Yep. Okay, what are we using? Hunter's going to take over the chair for a couple of minutes. 
sadly I can't for the whole day. There you go, you take over for a little bit. Be careful the spike. I'll be careful. Alright. Just trying to tuck in. So so far I've done that, the photo. Um Tony, me and my older brother. Um, so for my layout, I was deciding to not do any, uh, what's the name, bubble wrap. And um, so far, I've done just that, but hopefully we can get more done before this finishes. So... Now, did you say you wanted to do a little bit of bubble wrapping as well? Yes. I decided not to do any bubble wrap except for one, which of course this one. The copper. Do you want me to bring it down for you? You right? Yes, you reach please. it. Yeah. Can you move my phone? Yep. I can move all that stuff out of the way. There you go. There's. This is all the colours we had before. We we haven't used black. It's the only colour we haven't used. So at the moment, Hunter's just doing some copper, copper onto the bubble wrap. I reckon that's probably enough on there, buddy. And this is the only bubble wrap I'm doing because I can't be bothered to do the rest. Um, I should have put it. Put it right under where it says family. That's very cool. Tap it softly and then push down hard. Yep. Tap it softly and push down hard. So cool. I love that. Just a bit of dots. Not going to harm you. <laughs> and I will move this out of the way. Um, so, um, I will be still doing this. I might finish it off after the video but we'll show you in next week's it'll be at the end it'll be in a few days time at the end in of the few, week we're going to do number three in our sessions and we'll be using some paint on some canvas and layouts and there goes something falling that's through okay there. i can pick it up Okay, you ready? Are you ready for me to over to take over again? Are you still yeah, going? Still going. Okay, we'll keep going because I gotta finish up this layout too. Why can't you do it there? You want me to do it here? And then, if you want, you can just keep on doing yep. that. Okay, so it looks like the a our A4 layout. So again, this is A4. This is printer stuff that comes straight from your printer. It's a great size for kids to use for their first scrapbooks because it's stuff that's accessed around the house and you can just put them into folders when you're done. Move that to the side. Um. Yep, I was going to say, you can just put them into folders like this when you're done and that way Mom, kids have got their own... Yeah, it's all right. That way kids can have their own little very first scrapbook. And also, Tony will be doing a layout of me. We talk about, again, same thing like this photo. We took about 10 minutes before the video started. Yep. Before. And I'll be doing this layout and she will be doing that layout. Okay, thank you. Use those if you want. Okay, thank you, Hunter. I appreciate it. As 
I'm using these colors here. Can I sing a little bit there? Yeah, as long as they don't fall down. Hopefully. <laughs> I'm just drawing Tony plus Hunter plus yes, you can plus see her Lane too. and Lane's my bigger brother. No, it's alright. It's okay. Um, yeah. So right there, I just draw Tony plus Hunter plus Lane. Very good. Okay, so I've just found a doily in our stash. A doily? A, What's doily? a doily. A paper doily. Most of us do have these around the house somewhere. So I'm going to set it off to the side. Like that. Sorry, I'll straighten the page up. I'm going to set it off the side and I'm actually going to cut that off once it dries. And then I'm going to use some glue to glue down the photo. No, oh, I can't get it out. Okay, that's all right. Hang on, I'm almost done my layout, mate, which means that you can then quickly finish yours off and you can come back and show people yours again later. So we might grab... So we might grab mm, something to add for a title. So we're going to grab, cut up some of this. So I'm just cutting up some of the bubble wrap that we had before. Remember how I said that everything we can use again. So I'm going to reusable. Everything's reusable. I'm going to add that up here. I think. Right now I and am I'm going yep. Go. I'm going to write on there. So Tony and Hunter. And what is today's date? Does anyone know what today's date is? Um, it know. is month. Month. It's the 29th of September, Tuesday. Okay. It's 29th of September. 2020. There we go. 2020. I will be getting the mother. Whoopsie daisies. So I'll be getting the mother and the brother to write tea. Yep. Because Tony is going to write tea in that love heart I draw. Yeah, which one? About any, any of those two. Doesn't matter? Yep. And I will be going to get the big brother. No, we'll maybe take um, that into him because he won't come out. I'm sure. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to finish that off and that's going to be it all for that layout today. So again, with the bubble wrapping, we've done a fun A4 sized card. Why is it on a chair? Hold on. A fun A4 sized, sorry, layout plus a couple of cards. So a pretty little... And with this one, you know, like over the top of the ink or the paint, sorry, over the top of the paint, we can always add some extra, some extra little stickers over there as well. Extra is the better. You know, there's some cool little bubbles. 
because who doesn't love little bubble stickers? Me. There's adorable little fish. You know, the kids can really go to town with whatever sticker book they have. So again, I'm just getting all of these off the sticker book, the mermaid sticker book. They can go to town, just have a blast. If you have someone's birthday coming up or even their own friend's birthdays, you know, it can be grandma, it can be dad. It can be for the teacher at the end of the year, a thank you card, or if, even for the coach, you know, grab out some Coach rugby, football, NFL, yeah. soccer. So that's our little projects for today. That's the ones that I've just finished and threw together for us. And Hunter is still going with his 12 by 12 scrap layout. Would you like to quickly show it here? Yep. Oh. Now he won't have time to finish it all but today. But I will be showing you guys in a few days that it's all finished. So what I've done so far is free photo, my brother, me, and Tony. And then it says Tony, Hunter, Lane, Lane's a big brother. And then we used the, the copper. copper, yep. The copper, same as copper, mom same did as the there. bubble wrap, yep. yep. Um, right there. Look and then we got the... And we have got... The love hearts, I wrote the H, my brother Lane, he wrote that, and Tony wrote that. And, and then family, and then noughts and crosses I just made up. Awesome. That's, That's all we've done so far, but I'm probably going to finish it off today. Okay. So now I am now going to take all of these brushes, because we're done with the brushes now. Yep. Good job. Put it down. Going to take all these brushes and clean them out. Remember I said that you do have a little bit of leeway, but not much. You, it's, once they start sort of getting not soft, we have to make sure that we go and clean them off. Okay? And here's all of our fun bubble wrap. Well, they'll stay hard forever. Yeah. Dead. And you know what? If you are really, really adventurous, you could even put bubble some wrap bubble, bubble wrap. wrap. If that Has that stuck already? It has stuck. But you could even put some bubble wrap behind there as an embellishment and then stick it down to there. You know, oh, yeah. like, yeah, cool, hey. Yeah. You can good. use these things as fun. So thank you very much for coming today. We will see you in a few days' time for session number three, where we're going to use some paints and a canvas and stuff like that. That Again, kids can just find stuff around the house. It's only around they can the do house stuff. Just stuff around the house. Okay, so we'll say goodbye. Bye. Thank you very much for coming. Have a crafty week and we'll see you again soon. Oh, it's all the way over.